tensions flare across the country in the wake of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. Police custody calls for unity are growing. That includes here in Hampton Roads. Tenor your side, Tamara Scott joins us now from Norfolk, where two events aimed to bring people together today. Tamara. Yeah, that's right, Kayla. Today the idea is unity, and that's what several groups today focused on, as well as on how to better their own communities. Now, the first group in South Norfolk was the Stop the Violence group, who came together for a rally where local community members came together to discuss what they are doing in their own neighborhoods to help the problem they see. They want all violence to stop, not just brutality by the police. Leader Bayal Muhammad hopes people understand that message as well. Bringing our resources together, we're looking at the institution that we have within our community so that we can strengthen our community and focus in a better, united direction. If we focus on that within and establish a better relationship, working relationship with the police department, with other agencies, I believe that we can establish a better cohesiveness within our community. Now then in Norview, motorcycle riders from all over Hampton Roads came together for a ride from the Norfolk Courthouse to here at an abandoned shopping center. Now the leader, Desiree Tolbert, organized the event today with more than 200 riders. She says like many other mothers, she wanted to make sure her community knows they have each other's backs. Listening to the story about George Floyd and how he called his mother, and it was like he was reaching out, he needed help. And the same thing with me. I'm scared that one day my kids are going to call out for me and they're going to need help and I'm not going to be there. Now, when I spoke with Desiree today, she said this is not going to be the only thing that she organized in the Black Lives Matter movement, but she hopes to get something going very soon. Now, coming up tonight at 11 on Wavy News 10, I'll have a full story of both events happening today. For now in Norfolk, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.